Hi, I'm Damien Leonard and welcome to my online training about Gaslit troubleshooting. As a passionate engineer about well optimization, I early specialized in well performance. As you already know, gas lift is my favorite artificial lift method. The reason behind that is that it is the least understood artificial lift method. And why is that? Well, it's quite simple. When you do things wrong with other artificial lift methods like ESP for instance, you might break your pump and it's gonna cost you millions of dollars. When you do things wrong with gas lifts, in many cases, your well will still produce. Therefore, many gas lifted wells remain under-optimized and produce while suffering from issues. There is therefore a big opportunity for anybody willing to understand how gas lift artificial lift work. Troubleshooting is the most complex topic of gas lifts. There are so many reasons for a gas lift well to have issues and diagnosing them and taking the appropriate corrective action is not easy. In this training, I will share with you a troubleshooting method that I developed that will make all this process much easier. And this is going to be the first section of this training. In the second section of the training, I will present you the different tools that are available for you for troubleshooting. So I will review nodal analysis, like the quick look function in, in Prosper, the different methods that you have in order to restart a gas lift well, like for instance, rocking the well or restarting it with a closed choke and a slow opening of that choke. Then I will discuss tubing casing communication tests and how you can use them not only to confirm the existence of a leak, but also to help determining the depth of that leak. Then we will review the different surveys that exist in order to detect the precise depth of a leak. So we'll take a look at pressure, temperature and spinner flowing gradient survey, multi-finger caliper, spectral noise logging tool, leak detection tool, CO2 tracer, ponytail and echometer. For each of these surveys, I will explain you a procedure in order to run them and I will explain the advantages and limitations of each survey. In the third and last section of the training, we're gonna do several exercises in order for you to practice and get some experience with the troubleshooting methods that I presented in the first section. So by following this training, you will get to know how to troubleshoot your well and how to increase its production. So you have seven hours of video in this training. Again, it is a pretty rich content. And as explained before, the troubleshooting method that I'm going to present you is a method that I developed myself. Therefore, you won't find it anywhere else in the industry. Only in this training, you will get to learn this method that is going to make your life much easier when troubleshooting gas lift well. As a prerequisite to this training, you need to have a good knowledge of the inflow and the outflow mechanism, so IPR and VLP. You need to know how gas lift unloading valve and orifice work, and you need to have a good understanding of the gas lift unloading sequence. This course is well suited for production, well performance, petroleum, reservoir engineer, field staff, and anybody involved in the production of gas lift well. So this is the fifth and last course of the series of course related to gas lift artificial lift that I published. Enroll for it today and take the last step to become a gas lift master.